we're going to look at a series of rendering and material enhancements being introduced into Blender 4.3. First, Blender 4.3 introduces four more phase functions to the volume scattering node, adding to the original Henye Greenstein mode, allowing for more nuanced volumetrics. These are tuned for different environments and thus have somewhat different behavioral characteristics. For instance, Rayleigh is designed for atmospheric or sky scattering. Fournier Forand for underwater environments, Drain for interstellar scattering, and Me scattering is best for simulating clouds and fog, unlike the atmospheric Rayleigh scattering, which affects tiny particles and shorter light wavelengths. Me scattering involves larger particles like water droplets and wavelength behavior typical of clouds and fog. These are currently only supported in cycles. Let's take a quick look at an example that's appropriate for comparing Henye Greenstein in 4.2 to the new Me scattering in 4.3 that's appropriate for fog and clouds. The cloud cover in this scene, it's actual geometry with some thickness that has a volumetric scatter applied to it. Now, if we switch over to 4.3 and we use the new Me scattering that's appropriate for clouds and fog, we get this. That's quite a big difference, isn't it? With this simple underwater scene, let's compare 4.2, which is this rendering, to the new Fournier Forand option, which is specifically tuned for underwater scenes, and we get this. Next, a new panoramic camera type called the Central Cylindrical has been introduced in response to requests from artists working on architectural renderings. This camera type gives the ability to pre-render heavy exterior elements in a way that doesn't have vertical distortion. This is then appropriate for being mapped onto a cylinder surrounding a scene. The sponsor of this video is Fox Render Farm. They have thousands of CPU and GPU render nodes for use with your time-sensitive Blender projects, in addition to supporting many other 3D applications. Fox Render Farm also has 24-hour online support. Until the end of the year, they're offering an amazing deal. When you purchase render credits, you'll get double the credits for CPU rendering and an extra 50% for GPU rendering. For example, if you spend $500, you'll receive $1,000 worth of CPU credits or $750 worth of GPU credits. I got this 500 frame product animation rendered in 10 minutes using Fox Render Farm. 400 frames of this scene were rendered in just half an hour. I've used render farms to process large numbers of renderings that would never have been possible on my local machines. The convenience and speed that Fox Render Farm provides can be absolutely necessary for a successful project. Prior to Blender 4.3, there were two methods for creating diffuse surfaces, using the principled BSDF's base color or the diffuse BSDF shading node. However, each method employed a different diffuse algorithm. In Blender 4.3, the principled BSDF now includes a diffuse roughness input slider. This slider allows users to transition from the older Lambertian diffuse algorithm to the more physically accurate diffuse algorithm called Oren Nayer. The Oren Nayer algorithm better approximates highly rough diffuse surfaces such as concrete, bricks, rough wood, rocks, and sand. The default value of zero maintains the appearance of the diffuse material created in earlier versions of Blender. Additionally, the Oren Nayer BSDF algorithm has been updated to be energy preserving and accounts for multi scattering at a microfacet level. A new metallic BSDF node debuts in Blender 4.3. It contains two modes. The first is the F82 tint mode. This is the algorithm currently used by the principled BSDF when it's set to metallic mode. The F82 tint approximation is artist friendly, allowing the artist to simply set the color for the metal. It's very useful for generating a broad range of metallic surfaces, including anodized metals. The second mode is physical conductor. It's designed to use physically accurate, laboratory measured complex index of refraction values per RGB channel. The two parameters used are the index of refraction and extinction coefficients. This allows the node to generate very accurate metallic surface representations. 
EV does not directly support physical conductor mode. However, if you configure and use it with EV, the node will internally convert to an approximate F82 tint equivalent. Keep in mind that this approximation may not be as accurate as when used in cycles. If you'd like a more complete video on how to use both the metallic BSDF and the Orin Nair Diffuse Roughness Slider, you can find this in a 4.3 release playlist on my YouTube channel. A new white balance function has also been introduced into Blend 4.3. The View Transform now supports white balancing the rendered image as part of the color management system. White balancing remaps colors along both the blue-red axis and a green-magenta axis. This allows you to shift the tonality of the image to make it warmer or cooler, or more green or more magenta in tone. This is a very important feature for architectural renderings, which may use very warm interior lighting, producing a rendering that appears too yellow. White balance allows you to adjust the overall tonality without needing to change lights or re-render the image. If you'd like a more complete video discussing the use of the new white balance feature, you can find this in a 4.3 release playlist on my YouTube channel. A new noise texture node has been added called Gabor Noise. Gabor Noise is characterized by random interleaving bands whose direction and width can be controlled. Gabor Noise is particularly useful in simulating natural procedural materials such as sand dunes or ripples of sand on a beach. Support for hardware accelerated ray tracing has been added for the Linux platform and uses the open source HipRT libraries for both Linux and Windows.